If you want to see funny movies from New Zealand, you should definitely watch our picks for the best New Zealand comedy movies. Medina! What's up? Sweet X skills. Thanks. I wanted to come up with like a one-liner, like you were Xing for this or something. That would be really cool, right? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Samoan Wedding, 2006. Didn't meet a nice girl at the wedding. No. Oh. You want eggs? Oh, yes, please, Mum. Samoan Wedding is a New Zealand comedic film directed by Chris Graham and stars Oscar Knightley, Shimpal Lalisi, Robbie Magasiva, and Pua Magasiva. Mixing emotional themes with a premise so charming you can't but enjoy the ride, Samoan Wedding follows a group of four friends, all with their very unique personality. But they have one thing in common, they can't behave like adults. Now banned from a big wedding event, they must learn to be responsible through dating strangers at the wedding day. What's wrong with Samoan girls, Michael? Nothing. You know, <laughs> Michael, he likes to have a good time. Not a long time, just a good time. Number 9. Deathgasm, 2015. Hey, this is uh, Giles and Dion. Hey. <sighs> Deathgasm is a New Zealand comedy horror film written and directed by Jason Leigh Howden and stars Mila Cawthorn, James Blake, and Kimberly Crossman. This gore fest follows the effective promise delivered by its brilliant title, It's Bloody. It's so bloody that you won't be able to turn your eyes away. Delivering on the rather simple premise of two douchebag teens accidentally summoning an evil entity. Deathgasm proves to be the right movie for genre enthusiasts through its genius comedic take. Got it. Got it. Deathgasm. All spelt in capitals. Lower cases for pussies. Cool. What about... I fucking said... Deathgasm! Number 8. Meet the Feebles, 1989. All right, you fat slag, move your ass! Dare you speak to me like that? Meet the Feebles is a New Zealand musical black comedy drama film directed by Peter Jackson. Combining the dark and vulgar violence that made Peter Jackson's directing debut so charming with cynical comedy comes Meet the Feebles. It is the outrageous violence orgy in which some fame-seeking members of the animal kingdom learn the harsh, sleazier side of show business in this puppet-filled, nightmarish hell ride of a parody. I've heard better singing from a mongoose with throat cancer. I won't stand for this treatment any longer. I'm an artist. I demand respect. Artist? <laughs> That's a good one. That's it. I've had it up. I'm going straight to bed. You do that, darling. What is going on over there? Number 7. Bad Taste, 1987. God's sake, guys, keep it quiet. Bad Taste is a science fiction comedy horror film directed by Peter Jackson and stars him alongside Terry Potter and Pete O'Hearn. As one of the most important modern classics, Bad Taste can easily be misunderstood as a tasteless gore fest. Yet, it is not only surprisingly clever, but the springboard for the once young filmmaker Peter Jackson, who would get the chance to form generations through this movie. An alien apocalypse gore fest splatter movie with a real bad taste. That's the end of those freaking cowboys. Let's go home. Number 6. Housebound, 2014. Give that a shake, please, Maria. Housebound is a New Zealand horror comedy film written and directed by Gerard Johnston and stars Morgana O'Reilly, Rima Te Wiata, and Glenn Paul Waru. Combining crawling horror with extremely hilarious humor, Housebound is just another proof that the genre mix is something that must be explored. When a wannabe thief is remanded to the custody of her estranged mother, she soon finds out what she already feared, that the evil walks among them in the family domicile. What are you doing?
To the restless spirit that lives in this house, what is your business here? Number five. Goodbye Pork Pie, 1981. Are you the owner of that uh, yellow mini out there? Uh, no, it's hers. Goodbye Pork Pie is a New Zealand comedy film directed by Jeff Murphy and stars Tony Barry, Kelly Johnson, and Bruno Lawrence. Being a classic adventure road trip, Goodbye Pork Pie is the call of fresh wind that haunts the friends John and Jerry. Embarking on the greatest and best mistake of their lives, the two steal a car and lead the police on a gigantic car chase. On the way, they encounter sweet love Shiri and decide to take her with them. Serve them. Fuck you kids, I told you once. Serve them. I'm not taking you on holiday ever again. Okay. She can't be trusted with anything. Doreen, look after them, will you? They're as bad as those Blondini hooligans. Good night. Uh, yeah, um, where did you come from? Number four. Boy, 2010. Who knows what disease this sheep has got? AIDS. Not AIDS, you dork. Boy is a New Zealand comedy drama film written and directed by Taika Watiti and stars him alongside James Rolleston and Teaho Ekatone Witu. This perfect mixture of hilarious charm but serious emotional investment follows a New Zealand youth who never knew his dad but imagined him as a great adventurer. Now exploring the scary truth that his dad is far from being near to that, he must accept real life and the honest representations that come with it. Shut up, Kingy. Ooh, what are you gonna do? Get your brother on me or something? That picture looks like Kingy's undies when he shot his pants on sports day. Remember? Fuck up, boy. You fuck up. You fuck up. You fuck up. Fuck up. Hey, both of you fuck up or I'll send you to the principal. Number three. Brain Dead, 1992. Death surrounds him. There will be torment and suffering. Brain Dead is a 1992 New Zealand slapstick zombie comedy film directed by Peter Jackson and stars Timothy Balm, Diana Penyalver, Elizabeth Moody, and Ian Watkin. Often called the most violent, brutal, bloody, and ultimately disturbing movie of all time, Braindead is the unstoppable nastiness that once made people vomit in the cinema. And this is what made it an absolute cult classic. When a psychologically unhealthy mother is bitten by a strange monkey and turns into a zombie, things go to hell for her loser teenage son. Nothing's wrong, okay? It contains the power of the white light. Number two. What We Do in the Shadows, 2014. Hey. What time is it? Um, we're going to have a flat meeting in about 10 minutes. 20. Okay, is it? What We Do in the Shadows is a mockumentary horror comedy film written and directed by Jermaine Clement and Taika Watiti and stars him alongside Jermaine Clement, Jonathan Brew, and Corey Gonzalez Masur. As one of cult director YTD's greatest comedy successes, What We Do in the Shadows is to no one's surprise one of the best supernatural comedies out there. We follow a very unusual trio of friends who all live as vampire housemates. Now confronted with a newly turned hipster, they want to show him the great perks of being an undead monster. Peter, wake up. <laughs> Hey, listen, we're just having a flat meeting upstairs in about 10 minutes. You don't have to come, but I thought I'd extend an invitation to you just in case. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Tell me, if two well-heeled young fellows such as Cyril and myself were in the mood for an evening of uh, unbridled debauchery, uh, where would we start? Uh, the boozer. The boozer. The boozer. Well, that, of course, why didn't we think of that? No sort? idea. From a gun Who's driving? Number one. Hunt for the Wilder People, 2016. Faulkner is cork, cork Asian. Well, they got that wrong because you're obviously white. Hunt for the Wilder People is a 2016 New Zealand adventure comedy drama film written and directed by Taika Watiti and stars Sam Neill, Julian Dennison, Rice Darby. Rima T. Wiata and Rachel House. 
Ricky, a juvenile criminal, is abandoned by his mother and taken in by the child services. He is then adopted by Bella and Hector, a country couple who manage to get through to him. However, when an unexpected tragedy hits the family, Ricky must escape child services by traveling through the wild bushes of New Zealand. Oh, Uncle, you're basically a criminal now, but on the bright side, you're famous. I think I'm crazy. And Asian. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.